Hi everyone, welcome to the interest rate update for the month of November 2020, dated the 3rd of December 2020. If you're watching this video, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we get from these videos goes to local New Zealand charities. What a month. Even though there has been almost no change in the interest rates, there have been some big changes in the mortgage world. The Reserve Bank announced right at the beginning of the month that they were going to change the LVR rules in March 2021. They initially said they wouldn't change them from a year from May, but because of the hot market, they are having to bring that forward. Now, of course, announcing that drives everyone into a frenzy to get things done before March, especially the investors. They will be moving from 80% to 70% maximum lending, that was going to heat up the market even more. So the banks almost immediately announced that the maximum they would lend is now 70%. You can't get an 80% loan through the main banks anymore. Now whether or not this cools the market is a whole nother discussion and I don't think it's going to do it. I think there are too many other factors mainly FOMO, fear of missing out. People are just getting in there and the number of people that could afford at 80% but can't afford to buy investment properties at 70% doesn't seem like a big enough chunk of the market to really call it. But let's talk about interest rates. We are still seeing regularly 2.39% for one year, but the big one this month was 245 for three years. That's a long time to have a low rate like that. You're still getting the 2.99 for five years, but 2.45 for three years is outstanding. The question is, would you take it for that long? Even though the economists are starting to say, well, it's probably not going to be a negative OCR anymore, they are still saying the OCR is going to come down, which means interest rates are probably going to be quite a bit lower. We're talking still sub 2% next year. So to take that three year rate, to take that 2.45% rate over three years, you might miss out on some gains next year. Comment below if you would take 2.45% for three years or would you take 2.39% for one year? Really interested to hear your feedback. For under 80%, we're still seeing about a 0.6 to 0.7% discount on the floating rate. That's the advertised floating rate. So make sure if you haven't got that discount, you talk to your mortgage broker about renegotiating it. If you're under 80%, you should be getting a good discount on your floating rate. If you're an investor, don't panic. You can still buy at 70% and there are still some second tier non-bank lenders that will lend to you at 80%. But watch those interest rates because they are going to come down in the next two months. I think we're going to see a 2.2 by the end of January. Thanks for watching. If you're a first home buyer, we've got a discount on our first home buyers course. 21% off our course to celebrate going into 2021 and leaving 2020 behind. Talk to you after Christmas.